Uh, good evening, folks. Dr. Freedom here with you. Time some doctor news, news from in around the universe that may or may not amaze you, confound you, and make you go, oh, baby, that feels so good. DWSR is back, bitches. Um, yeah, some of you may remember we used to have a um, hashtag on the Twitter called DWSR, which stands for Doctor Who Set Report. Now, sadly, a bunch of disgruntled weirdos decided they'd hijack that thread, and they started calling it Dr. Who Sausage Rolls and a bunch of other things. And that's why we really don't use it that much anymore. But guess what? Can't stop the signal, baby, because got some photos for you coming from their whales down way. Let, let's go ahead and let's hop on over there, and let's take a look at what we do have. This is going to be a quick and dirty report. Now, apparently, this took place yesterday over in Methir, Tidfil, if I remember right. If I'm butchering that, please let me know. And this is filmed at Morless Quarry in that area in South Wales. Crew equipment, tents, and the TARDIS, and a few other identified props were photographed by a runner on November 13th and apparently the 16th. Now, what's interesting is if you want to go look for these photos yourself, all this is linked right here through this article. So if you want to go take a pop and look, you know, there you go. I guess this fellow was out doing a challenge he was doing day 16 of his plus km challenge and he got to see doctor who filming and it's really nice to see some photos coming out from the set now this falls in i also got uh george sheard chiming here you know ace creeper and he's got some really interesting stuff here too now one of the ones i found very very interesting is this photo right here out of all of them note it, the uniforms now, could this be Crimean War? Somebody let me know. Like I said, I've, I've just really hopped on this, and I'm going to have to do a little digging because that does look to be the appropriate era, which really fits in with what Ruther too found out about Sarah Powell here pay, playing a possible historical celebrity character for this particular episode. Now, Ruther too said that Sarah Powell will portray British Jamaican nurse, healer, and businesswoman Mary Seacole, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering that too, who set up the quote-unquote British hotel behind the lines during the Crimean War for wounded British soldiers. So that's very, very interesting if that's what that is. So if you want to look at these photos for yourself, I'm going to put a spoiler warning probably in the top of the video here, but there you go. There you have it. Go take a look for yourself if you want to. They're all linked to that first article. This article I'll include anyway, just if you want to go take a look at this CV. This is an article up from yesterday that I used in the previous video, but I thought it fitting because it includes Ruth or two's, you know, snidbit right here about this particular possible character being popped in. And also one other nifty thing to mention is that data extract turns 40. This is the newsletter of Doctor Who Club of Australia, 40 years old this month. And here's a little info on it if you want to learn about it. Also, if you're in there, you, if you want to subscribe to it, there you go right there. There's a little link. Oh, look, they got a nice little look. at some really nifty stuff. So if you want to go check that out, there you go. All right. So once again, Doctor Who filming has been cited. Um, and I like I keep telling people, they started filming well before the second. They just announced it. You know, it's funny how you'll notice Doctor Who suddenly announces it's filming just before they start during shoots in public areas. But I have an eerie feeling they were shooting before that. I still hold, the, uh, hold to the line that that previous report from the uh, October was genuine. It came from a Twitter account that was over a year old. So it's not like that account just popped into existence. Oh, well, I'm going to get running here. Oh, heck, should I pad this video out to get those ads? You know, mid-roll ads? Nah, it ain't worth it. I'm just here to show you some nifty Doctor Who stuff. So take care, everyone, please. Remember, COVID is still out there. And be careful, wear your masks and all that. And yes, I am an avid mask wearer. I, you see, I keep telling people, when you have to wear a mask just to go to bed, I have to use a, sleep, a CPAP machine to sleep. Using one, that machines. I also got to use one for you know eight hours during the day at work i wear one oh no look ah it's the green screen oh, i'm just using the virtual background because i like it i like the way the effect comes up but if you move your hands a certain way look at this whoa all right i'm definitely padding it out for the eight minutes huh? <laughs> so be careful be cautious and stay safe out there also if you like this channel please subscribe like the video down below 
and you know support me as well as you can i don't have a patreon page i've been contemplating getting one i'm not sure if i really want to go that far because i don't see how it would pan out i don't have any exclusive content to sell you but i could use the help because dr freedom and eric i could i'd really love to have like sophie alder back to reprise her role as Dr. Liberty, but that costs money. It's not cheap. Contrary to popular belief, when Dr. Freedom wants celebrities, especially if they're going to portray a character that is an acting job and you have to pay them for it under acting, you know, equity and all that stuff. So as much as I'd love to have her back on as many, many others, it costs a lot of cash. Also, promoting this channel costs a lot of cash. And I have not yet to hit that promote button once. And look at how far we've come. 5,000 followers on, heck, I think over on uh, Huvi and Amino. Uh, almost, yeah, well over 1,000 plus over on Twitter. I don't have the exact numbers in front of me. I think we're over 5,200 now on YouTube. And we all did that the hard way, kids. Each and every one of you make that possible. So stay safe, watch yourselves, take care, have a good night, kids. I know I've been saying that for the last half hour, but I mean it this time. Get out of here, but I love you.